guys, how's everybody? Hope you're all doing well sat indoors and not too bored, not too uh, panic stricken about the, uh, the, the the embargo that we've, we've been stuck with. Uh, yeah, as, as uh, Carl just said, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, what you can do to bring your business online if you're not already online. And maybe if I've got time, a little bit about what you can do to improve things if you are already online as well. Um, so tip number one, and the, the biggest thing at the moment I'm suggesting to people do, if you haven't got a website, you haven't got anything online at the moment, what I reckon you should do is make sure that you've at least got a Google account. And the reason I say that is because from a Google account, you can pretty much build out everything else that you might want to do. Uh, so they're free to sign up for, you don't need to pay for it at all. Um, and anybody that's already got an Android phone or a, at gmail.com email address already has a Google account. So that's the, that's the, that's the best thing. Um, it is literally just a case of putting your name and address in um, and clicking OK. Once you've got that, what you can do is you can do a bunch of different things. The first thing I might suggest doing if you've not got a website up and running already is go to domains.google.com um, and from there you can register a new domain. Now find something that's brand appropriate, so something that works with your brand, something that's going to make sense for your business. The closer you can get to your business name, the better because obviously it makes a little bit more sense for you to, to do that. Um, and what you get, what you get from there is just right afterwards, once you've signed up, they'll give you a whole bunch of different ways that you can build a website out directly from within the Google platform. So in these days, it actually links out to um, Shopify. So if you've got an online shop or you want an online shop, that's a good place to start. Uh, it does actually set, let you set up a WordPress website, which is what we like to use. Uh, it's pretty good. So you can start building something out from there. Uh, you can set up a Wix website. You can set up a Weebly website or you can use Google's own platform, which is called Blogger. Um, now, aside from Google's Blogger platform, you've also got another thing which is called Google Sites, and I'll talk about that as well. Um, but basically, any one of those systems will be a good starting point, because to be honest with you right now, it's a case of if you've not got something online, just getting something up is gonna be better than nothing. Just so you've got somewhere that you can start directing people to, and you can start trying to sort of build in like a little bit of this into your into your social networks, into the other sort of areas that you're talking, um, uh, that you're, you're available online. So remember, like, um, this is really just a case of, of building up as much community as you can. Uh, obviously, we'd like it so that you've got a decent website and we, ultimately we end up with a, you know, a really well built, beautiful looking thing. But right now, because time is of the essence, I say, put something up, get it as close to being right as possible, and then if later on you want to come along and speak to a professional designer or developer or whatever and take your ideas a little bit further, at least you've already got that first step on the ladder and at least you know what does and doesn't work. Now, aside from all of those little web tools that you can build, as I say, still talking a little bit about what Google actually offers, you've also got Google Drive. Um, now, Google Drive comes as part of uh, the system, but I really like it. It's basically a um, online hosting platform to just hold all of your documents. So it becomes a cloud based platform. Um, it's got a version of a word, presser, a word processor in, inside it. It's got a spreadsheet builder. It's got um, a bunch of other different tools that you can use for business. And one of the things that we often find when we say to a client, okay, it's time to build a website, is that there's a little sticking point when we say, right, we need you to make some content up. We need to actually do some, some writing here. That's the bit that sometimes stumps people. So right now might be the best time that you've got to sit down and actually think about what it is you want to say and the amount of information that you can get out of your brand and just start putting it into a Google Doc. Start putting it into a word processor document on Google because when the time comes and you want to share that with somebody else, you'll have it there. And what's more, because it's cloud-based, it means that you can access it from any device that you're logged into the internet with. So you can use it on your phone, you can use it on your um, laptop, you can use it on your iPad or your tablet, anywhere you like, and you can just keep adding to it as and when. So as you're wandering around the house, making cup of tea after cup of tea after cup of tea, or get up and down stairs to get your exercise in and all the rest of it, when you come down again and you sit down for half an hour, write a little bit to go on your about page. Start thinking about like your mission statement for your brand, all those sorts of things that take a little bit of time and effort, but actually over time, you can just put it all into Google, put it all into the, those Google Docs, keep it on the drive and uh, just, just keep adding to it. 
because when the time comes and you want to actually start putting that onto a website, it'll all just be there and it'll be so much easier for you to start designing and building something out that looks really good. Um, and as I say, you've got a bunch of different platforms there to do that with too. Um, the other thing that it does is it's got a uh, Google Calendar on there. Now Google Calendar is really cool for um, keeping events and things like that. So obviously the next time that uh, we're talking online like this, put something on your Google Calendar. You know, there's a link on the website to any sort that you want to go to. You just click that button and it will ping it straight into your Google Calendar so that you can keep a track on these sorts of inform information videos that we're putting out, um, which hopefully you find useful. Um, but if you just want to focus on one particular thing, you definitely don't want to miss it. Google Calendar will ping you when that's ready. So it's kind of handy for that. Next to that, what you can also start doing is you can start putting in little tasks onto the calendar. Because what I like to do is I know that over the course of a week, you know, I've got the various tasks I want to complete and they're going to take a certain amount of time. So I sit there oftentimes on Sunday night or sometimes on Monday morning and I actually just click and drag time blocks in on my calendar and just say, at this time, I'm going to do this. At this time, I'm going to do that. Just trying to make the most of the time that I've got so that I know, and especially now that while we're sitting indoors and we're not as busy perhaps as we might have been otherwise, we're, we're picking up different tasks. So if we can start booking them in and saying, right, okay, this is going to take me about two hours, you'll quickly find that you're a lot more busy than you thought you were going to be because there's so many things you can be doing. And even to the point where, you know, sometimes it's nice to book in the, the, uh, the breaks and the, the stops so that you know you can do three, four hours of straight work and then take a, take a break at the end. I'm not sure if that's um, health and safety advice, by the way, so careful on that one. Uh, but I don't know exactly how often you're supposed to take breaks. Personally, I don't do it. <laughs> but that ain't probably the best idea. Um, but regardless, you put in what you feel you, what works for you and you put it all into that calendar. And again, it keeps everything under one place. So everything's just living in one area. You've got one login that holds everything. Next up, what are the other things we've got on there? You've got Google My Business. Okay, so again, I'm not talking about full-on um, SEO campaigns here. I'm not talking about trying to get everything up and running absolutely perfectly. But if you can just get Google My Business up and running, that's a really good way to make sure that you're in the right place online. Um, so Google My Business, if you don't know what it is, is the little thing when you type in a, a business company name, It'll come up on the right-hand side of your um, web browser. This is the right to you, isn't it? Um, it'll come up on the right-hand side of your web browser, uh, and it just has a little block uh, with a map on it, and then a little bit of information about your company, and then beneath that, things like your Google reviews, which, again, you'll see part of your Google account, um, your Facebook reviews, and other things like that. You can set all of that up and get that running. And, again, in the meantime, before we're super busy again, before we've got other things to be thinking about, just getting those things in, and making sure that we've got some sort of presence working for us is going to make a lot of sense. Now, I did say Google Maps, so obviously it does kind of work, as you, as you might imagine, on local search results. But don't think that just because we're all indoors and we're not going out and meeting people that local doesn't matter, because people still buy local. People still prefer to work with local. And obviously, at some point pretty soon, this is going to come to an end, um, and we're all going to start going out and shaking hands again like normal. So when that happens, it would be great to know that you're not dealing with someone who's a hundred thousand miles away. It's just around the corner and you can come and have a little chat um, and have a cup of tea. Uh, now, okay. The other thing that you may or may not know, um, and another thing that I should mention is that Google um, obviously own YouTube. I don't know if everyone knows that, but um, it's a fact at the bottom of our website. If you look down at the bottom, you'll find the link to our Google account for the, uh, for the uh, together networking. So hit on that and link over to our account and go and do a subscribe. If you've got time, that'd be great. Thank you, please. Um, <laughs> if you could do that, that'd be cool. But the other thing is, is that by making that Google account, you've got access to make your own Google channels. And let's be, let's be clear here. What we're trying to do with the network is trying to build it so that everybody comes and joins in and anyone that's got anything worth saying does so because it's going to help everyone overall. So if you start a channel now, and you'd like to, 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 to let us know about it and to put some stuff through, then great. Put uh, a link through, let us know that you'd like to talk on the uh, Together Network and we'd be happy to have you. Um, and we'll, we'll, put your, your, we'll put your link up on the uh, website. We'll let people know that you're around. We'll even schedule you in if we've got time to, um, to put you into a talk like this. Um, and then you can start building your channel. And that's gonna be another really powerful thing 
that regardless of uh, the fact that you're stuck at home, it's going to make a massive data, uh, massive, uh, massive impact on your business in a good way. Um, Google Photos. So again, also within that same Google account, Google offer you an infinite amount of photo storage, which is a pretty awesome thing. Um, uh, if you're going to host a bunch of different um, images and you take loads and loads of photographs, if you do it for your phone, you can connect it up so that it just goes straight into your, into your Google account, holds on to all your images. And what I was um, saying before about the creating content for your website, creating content for your social media, all those kinds of things, you can actually spend some time now and literally take as many photographs as you need to take uh, to, to start using on your social channels, on your network, on your um, uh, your website, all of the rest of it. If you're an e-commerce store, for example, I guarantee you, I bet you, you've still got stuff that you haven't taken photographs of yet. And I bet you they're not on the website yet because you haven't had time to put that information in. Well, now's the time. You can quickly go around with your camera, smash them all into Google Photos, hold on to them, you know, and then start putting them up online as and when you're ready. And you, again, you know, go back to that Google Drive thing. So you've got all your photos in Google Photos. You've got all of your, all of your information written up as a, Google, as a Google Doc inside Google Drive. You've got one place and you can share that with anyone else who's got a Google account. So as soon as you do it, you don't even have to send it to anyone directly. You can just literally share the link and they'll be able to take hold of it and do whatever they need to do with it. You'll be able to put it straight onto a website, onto your social stays with you you've got it with you all the time and you can continue to use it so a really really useful little tool um, the other thing i was going to say about is google forms so google forms is another little um, app that they've got running in the background you can make up a form uh, and you might have even received one or seen one that we're using at the moment and we're using them just to, to, to gather information but if you're a business you can use them for all manner of things, just to gather information from your clients, from your um, uh, customers and all the rest of it, and just to see, um, maybe do a survey, find out if there's scope for a new product. Perhaps you've got an idea at the moment where you sort of think to yourself, well, normally I'd sell something physically, but actually I've got something that could go online. I wonder if anyone would care. I wonder if anyone likes it. So you could make a Google form up and you could share that through your social channels. You could put it onto links. You could email it out to your email list get everybody that you know to fill that form in and you'll get some data back and you'll be able to look at it inside a spreadsheet to see, okay, does this, does this actually work out? Is this actually worth doing? And if it is, then you know what, you do, what you're doing next, right? So it's kind of a, a little way just to sort of make sure you've got everything running. And then last but not least, the only other thing I wanted to mention was Google Analytics. So when you do have your website up and running, putting Google Analytics on there as quickly as possible is the best route. Regardless of whether or not you know an awful lot about SEO, that's, that's not really an issue at the moment, we'd like just to know what your base level um, analytics results look like. Because, again, just talking about when we, when we come out at the other end of this, if you want to start doing some real marketing or you want to push it a little bit further, if you know where you start, it's so much easier to know where you want to go. And it's so much easier to say, look, we're getting 100 visitors a day to a website, we'd like 1,000. Now you know you've got a goal. Now it makes it much easier when you start setting up your marketing and you start doing things like that because everything should be goal based. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of Google as a whole. Um, I kind of rush, rushed through a little bit there, but what I was going to say was was that um, we're going to write a, a post later on um, this week as soon as we possibly can to just describe a little bit more detail about what I went into earlier on in the in this little chat where I was saying about building your own website uh, and step and creating your own domain name. Uh, so I'll make a post up and I'll give a step-by-step -step on how to do that. And the other thing I'll do is I'm gonna make a real quick post about using your free Google account and adding your, your actual domain name to it so that it's connected up to a domain. So it will say info at yourcompany.com as opposed to you know your company at gmail.com because it just looks a little bit more professional and it makes a lot more sense when you're doing things like business cards and things like that. And obviously, and most importantly, it's part of your brand. So it's a good way to, good way to go. So that covers just about everything I can here and now. Um, have we got any questions? Yes, or anything? there's quite a few questions. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, let's go. Sure. I'll, I'll, I'll say. Um, so the first one is, once the website's up, do we need to maintain it? Um, and what happens if it goes down? Okay, yeah. So depending on where your website is and what you're doing, uh, yes, you will need to maintain it. Um, in, re in regards to like some of the earlier things I mentioned, so let's say for example Blogger, 
you'll find that Blogger doesn't really go down. It's a pretty simple blogging platform. It doesn't really go, doesn't really break, it doesn't really go, go wrong per se. And if ever it were to, then Google own it themselves and they jump on it directly and, and fix it for you. So I don't think that's an issue. Uh, similar sort of situation for things like Shopify, um, Squarespace, Wix, Weebly. There's people that, you know, the people that own these platforms will maintain them for you. So you don't necessarily have to do too much to keep them running, just keep paying your bill towards that. Now, in terms of work, WordPress, there is a slight difference there. Um, you know, at Clockwork Moggy, we offer care plans to, to, to help manage and maintain websites so that anything that's a little bit more complicated, the sort of things you might build with WordPress are maintained. Um, but even if you um, just run it yourself, providing you keep a track on the plugins that you're using, on the themes that you're using, and the rest of the setup, it gets a bit complicated, so it's, it's a bit difficult to talk in broad, broad strokes here. But you, you set, you, once you set it up and you've got all of those things running, you'll just, um, you just, you just keep those things updated. If you've got a staging ground, often a good way to go is to maintain and manage everything there first and then bring everything across to life. Um, but that's, uh, that's about it really. Yeah, that's... I've got a question from the Facebook um, group, which is uh, all the bits you've mentioned around Google yeah. uh, are easy to sell from someone who's not techie. Yeah, I mean, really easy. Uh, the, the great thing is, is that once you've done that sign up form, uh, you've just got in the top right hand side, once you've logged in, once you signed up, you, you're automatically logged in. There's a little um, icon, it looks like nine squares in a square formation. Click on that and then there's a bunch of different apps inside there. Just click on the one you want to go to and there's a, there's a how-to guide built right into it. So it's really easy. Um, someone, well Sarah Brown, you know Sarah, mm -hmm. um, Sarah. has said she would love a session on Google Analytics. Is that something you'd do for yeah. us at a later date? Most definitely. Um, Ed Williams has also asked that as well. Oh, yeah. All right, so, okay. So, so it seems well, like quite a few people. Will webinar know. around Google Analytics. Google Analytics. Yeah. It'll, no, it'll be on the schedule. Yeah, no worries. Coming soon. Um, Laura's asked uh, if there's going to be a recording of this. Yes, um, definitely. About those yeah. Google things. It's going to be. Uh, we're going to make our YouTube channel up, and it's going to have all of these individually cut down. And That's it. On there, so. And we'll also be adding that to the blog on the main website as well. So that will be coming out regularly. So if you miss anything and you just want to find it real quick, then it will all be in date order. You can come back and watch these things as and when uh, you choose. So again, you know, even if you miss something today that you realise was pretty cool, because there was quite a, quite a lot that's gone on today, um, you can scan back and look over the older stuff. I've got one more question for you personally. Yep. Um, can you just give a quick overview of the different types of web builders there are available and what they're good for yeah sure um okay so we've got a bunch of different ones so obviously the ones that um most people will be familiar with maybe is uh, wix weebly and squarespace and i sort of i sort of book them in together um they're all really quite powerful platforms and you can expand them out to being all kinds of different things um, but to begin with they're relatively straightforward to just put a, a basic website together for yourself and they also come with a bunch of templates. So if you're, like I said, if you're, if you're just starting out and you just want to get something up and running quickly, those can often be the best places to start because you'll get something that looks pretty decent, um, works fairly well, and can be adapted and built on later on. Um, the sort of websites that we generally tend to build are generally WordPress websites. Um, and the reason for that is because you can expand them even further still than the ones that you might use for um, uh, in Squarespace, Wix and Weebly. Um, and those ones really allow people like myself uh, to program solutions for it. And there's a bunch of um, plugins and adaptions that you can create to make them do all sorts of things. The main website that we've used um, here, which we actually managed to, we, we got that up really, really quickly actually. We, we did this in a day, so uh, we're, we're quite pleased. Um, we got we got the main website up for, for together networking. That's all built on WordPress, um, and it, it works really well. It's a massively robust system, and it's really SEO friendly as well, which is why we really really like it. Um, and then you've also got things like um, I mentioned Shopify earlier on. Shopify is an online shopping platform, and it literally is if you if you're running a shop and you just want to um, you just want to sell things, that's a really good way to go. Uh, the, the sort of drawback, if you like, of that is that whilst it's very quick and easy to put it together um, and you don't have to do very much in terms of technical skill, you just fill forms in and click OK, um, they do take a percentage of sales or they'll charge you monthly. And there's a couple of different pricing plans they've got with it, but you have to look at that and decide whether or not it's worth selling um, through those guys. OK, 
Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do it live. If we shuffle that seat up and get Carl in there, right, yeah, sure. and then we'll do a little outro with the two of you. Mm -hmm. We're all doing it live. Um, sorry if this is extremely loud for people. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> You're both in. Right, if there are any final questions, um, do send them in as well. Uh, even if it's uh, favourite superheroes, send questions like that and then they'll ask them as well. Just yeah, happy with that. Yeah, um, cool. so any questions, but if you just want to tell everyone what's going on with Together and okay. going forwards. So I'll sign off with some events. If you want to sign off about the website, that'd be a good idea. So the event's coming up. So next week, we have got on Monday, we're going to be doing a live session, uh, it'll be a live uh, morning session, which will be around a fitness of some description. We haven't decided what it's going to be yet. Information will come up soon. Uh, and then at lunchtime, we have our first lunch and learn, which is going to be around home education. And it's going to have the amazing Terry Wright, uh, having Rebecca Daniel and Claire Lucky. And they're all going to be talking about what you can do with the kids while they're off to keep them educated. And also just to maybe learn some new life skills around that time as well and activities that are available at the same time. Wednesday, sorry, every single day, every single morning, we're going to be having a, a different type of uh, fitness and well-being thing in the morning. That will be at 9 a.m. Uh, and then on Wednesday at lunchtime, there's a second lunch to learn, which is going to be uh, based around the five or, five or six different types of um, events or, or, or online events like Zoom you can have. So Zoom, Google Hangouts, um, Slack, Teams, all of those things are going to be included. Carl, I've already put on the spot here. All of those things are going to be included as well. Friday, we're talking about mindset and looking forward to things for in the future with Ash Lawrence, um, Andrea Barker, and Sarah Brown. Yeah. That's it. Sarah Brown, yeah. I'm actually going to write person. Sarah Brown, and they're going to be talking about the different things that come with mindset and going forwards. And then on Thursday and Friday evening, we're going to be having the uh, mindset evenings where we're talking about some things that are going on so they'll be coming up soon all the information will be available in the group and on the website which is a pretty good place to pass over to you thank you very much yeah so obviously um if anyone that hasn't seen the website yet I suggest you go ahead, uh, head over there right now um you can actually log in and uh, sign up which is something we all encourage you to do if you become a subscriber now it's free there's no there's no sign up fee there never will be it's going to be a free platform um all the while that we're um that we're, we're broadcasting um sign up for free, become a subscriber. And then if you've got something to say and you want to become a speaker and you want to start talking uh, for us, then actually we can switch you over and we can list you up on the website, um, give you a link out to your website uh, and also mention any special offers that you might want to offer. So one of the things that we've been asking is that if you've got something that you can do, you don't mind doing it for free or a reduced rate, something like that for the, for the rest of the community, just to support one another in this time, um, we'd really love to hear from you. If you can do it, we'll give you a link back from our site. We'll put um, all of our efforts into to getting you a little bit of traffic back to yours as well, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, if you come in and do all that, you can comment on the blogs. We'll be looking after those as well, so we, we'll be paying attention to those. So earlier on, I said about the um, the YouTube um, videos, they'll be hidden up on there later on, uh, and you'll be able to comment on them as well. So if there was something that you wanted to ask that you didn't quite get a chance to, put a comment on, um, and we'll get back to you, um, and we'll do everything that we can to, to bring anything in. If you've got any ideas for new content and you want to know something specific, if you want a question answered, and you think that someone in our community might be able to answer it, or even if you don't think someone in our community might be able to answer it, let us know, we'll find somebody, and we'll give everything we can to answer those questions for you too. So that's that. Uh, Cool. So yeah, website uh, is live. You can go on. It's www.togethernetworking.co.uk. Um, go have a look at what um, Neil and the guys at Club Muggy have done. Some really great stuff going up there, and it's going to continue to get bigger and better.